let's learn how to put an image into any shape in Illustrator in this super simple tutorial. So here I have a new document open in Illustrator. First things first, let's import our image. So go to File, Place, locate the image you want to use, select it and press Place. And either click and drag out the size you want on the canvas or simply click to place in the image. You can resize the image using the selection tool and once you're happy, simply select off. Next, let's draw a shape on the canvas. So if we're working with a singular shape, you can use this technique for any shape. So I'm gonna come over, click my stroke and fill. So I've got a white fill and a black stroke. Let's come to my shape selection tool and I'm gonna select the polygon tool. I've already got it set to a hexagon. So I'm simply gonna click and drag out a hexagon, hold shift to keep the hexagon at the perfect angle. And when I'm happy, simply release and then use my selection tool and click and drag this over the image that I want to put inside the shape. Now you have to make sure the shape is on top of the image. You want to put it in and not the other way. So if the image is on top, all you have to do is select it with selection tool, right click, arrange and center back. So once your shape's on top of your image, use the selection tool, click and drag over the two to select them, right click and go to make clipping mask. That will now put the image inside the shape. I can change the position of the image by going to the direct selection tool, hovering over and selecting the image. And now if I click and drag, you can see I can move the image around inside the shape. I can also resize the image inside the shape if I then switch to the selection tool with it selected and I can click and drag the image in accordingly and then switch back to direct selection tool to move it around. Once I'm happy, select off, switch back to selection tool. And then finally, I can bring the image back out of the shape by selecting it, right click and release clipping mask. And from there then we're using selection tool. If I move the image to one side and there's my image, I've lost the uh, stroke and fill. So if I just select there to bring that back on, I can move that back. Now, if I want to do this with multiple shapes, there's an extra step I need to take. So if I just come over to the right hand side here, I've got a honeycomb arrangement here that consists of a series of hexagons put together. So if I use a selection tool, select these hexagons and then click and drag them now over onto the canvas. And with them selected, let's go right click, arrange, bring to front. So if I try the same again, let's select off, selection tool, click and drag over both the shapes and the image. And then if I right click and go to make clipping mask, you'll see now the effect will only apply to one of those shapes or I'll get an error message. So if I command or control Z to go back. So there's one more step I need to take. So let's use the selection tool. Let's just drag the image over to one side for a second. Select the group, go to object, compound path, and make. And now if I come back to the image, select, bring this underneath the compound path I've just made. Use the selection tool to select both the image and the shape. And now right click, make clipping mask, and now the effect is working. And again, I can go in with the direct selection tool, hover over, select the image, and I can move it around accordingly, resize the image, and also when I'm ready to release it, if I want to release it, use the selection tool, select, right click, and release the clipping mask. So there you have it. It's that simple to put any image into any singular shape or a series of shapes in Illustrator. I really hope you found this tutorial helpful, and if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, keep on designing, and I'll see you for the next tutorial.